Welcome to Theme Grill. So to let users upload a profile picture on your WordPress site, you can do it by default within WordPress using something called Gravatar. But the downside with using Gravatar is that users will have to go to Gravatar, create an account with the same email that they have used on your site, and then upload a profile picture there, and then the same profile picture will be shown on your website. Now that is quite a hassle when you're asking users to go to a different site and upload their profile picture there. So instead, how do you make it so users can upload a profile picture on your own site? Well, you can simply create a registration form within your site with a profile picture field where users can upload their profile picture. And the plugin that I'm going to show you in this video will do just that. And on top of it, it will give you a good looking My Account page where users can also change their profile picture. So in this video, we're going to explore just that. So let's get started. But before that, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. All right, so here I am within a fresh new installation of WordPress. Now to let users upload a profile picture during registration, you're gonna have to install this user registration plugin right here. Now keep in mind, you're gonna have to purchase one of their pro plans for this. So you can simply go to their pricing and purchase any of these pro plans. Now to let users upload a profile picture on their site, if you get just the personal plan, that should be more than enough for you, though this plugin does have a lot of other features that might come in handy. So you're free to get the other higher tier plans as well. Now it's a standard checkout process after which you'll receive a mail with login credentials to this site WP Everest right here and from within dashboard you can simply download this user registration profile and with the license keys you'll also find your license key to activate this product you can simply copy this license key as well and if you're confused at any point I'll leave a link down below with a purchase guide so yes you can simply refer to that but for now let's go within plugins click on add new plugin now go ahead and upload the zip file that you just downloaded choose file select the file and open then click on install now. All right, so there you go. The plugin has been activated. Now let's go within user registration, then extensions. There's one thing we've got to do. We need to search for advanced fields. Simply enable this advanced fields module. Now, once it has been enabled, let's go over to add new and we're going to add a new form. Let's click on start from scratch and let's give it a name, PFP form, profile picture form in case you were wondering. So here I have a basic registration form, username, user email, password, confirm password. Now you can add more fields as you like. You can simply drag and drop them right into the form field. But for this video, since we are focusing on the profile picture, I'm simply gonna drag in a profile picture field. There it is. I'm simply gonna drag it right there. Profile picture field, and I'm gonna publish this form. So there you go, the form is ready. Now let's go within our pages. And let's make sure this page is viewable within the registration page of ours. So this right here is the registration page that this plugin installed during the setup wizard. So we're simply going to edit this page. Then you can see right here, it's using the default registration form. I'm simply going to delete this for now. And from within this block store, I'm going to get this registration form block and I'm going to drag it in right here and select the form that we just created, which is this PFP form right here. You can see the preview. I'm going to save this page and we're good to go. So now whenever a user wants to register to your site, they fill out the registration form and within the profile picture field, they can simply upload a file. They can simply choose the photo they want to upload and they can crop that image just like so. I want this much to be viewable. So I'm gonna put that picture in and there you go. The user is going to submit that form. Now over at the back end, I already have a notification for a new user. So I'm gonna go right here. So there you go. I have a profile picture for the user all within my site, not using Gravatar. And if this user wants to change their profile picture, they can simply do it from their My Account page, which I'll show you in just a bit. Now you might run into an issue if you already have existing registered users that you registered either manually or by using the default WordPress registration form, then you're going to have to link those users within the user registration form that you just created with the profile picture field. And only after that, they'll be able to change their profile picture. So to do that, let's go within user registration, extensions, search for profile connect, enable this module, and now go back to your users menu. So for me, this test user right here is the user that I added manually. So currently, if I log in as this test user, you can see this is what my account page looks like. And from here, if I click on profile details, it's simply going to show that I don't have any profile details. And that is because this profile is not linked with the user registration form. So after you've enabled the profile connect module, you can simply go right here, connect with form. First of all, select the user, of course, and then connect with form. Click on the form that you just created. For me, it is this PFP form right here and click on connect. So there you go. Now this user has been connected with the form that I just created. So if I go back to the My Account page from this user's perspective, this is an incognito tab where I've logged in as this user. So you can see now I have this profile details tab right here. I can go there and I can upload my profile picture. And there you go. I have a profile picture for this user as well. They can simply save the changes 
and they'll be good to go. And also, if you want to limit the file size or you only want certain file types to be uploaded, then you can do that from within the form builder. Simply go to the form that you just created within all forms. This right here is the form. Edit that form, the profile picture filled, simply click on it and within field options, there is something called advanced settings. Open the advanced settings and from here you can see you can enable crop in, you can enable take pictures so users can directly take picture from their webcam or if they're on their mobile device they can simply use their selfie camera and here you can choose the valid file types. It could be JPEG, it could be, it could be GIF, it could be PNG and you can also type in the maximum file size allowed in kilobytes to prevent users from uploading really big files and once you've made those changes you can update the form and everything will work well. So there you go, that's how you let users upload their profile picture on your work site while also giving your users a really good user profile dashboard. Also a very short notice depending on when you're watching this video information could get outdated so for the same topic we have an article linked down below in our description. We almost always update the article before our videos so make sure to check out that article as well. I hope you found this video helpful if you did drop a like subscribe to Theme Girl, and I'll see you whenever I'll see you. Take care.